even if it comes with the most, even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place because it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how we can be, get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sora is talking, taking this really seriously. It's ready to hear, <sighs> to hear her deliberately, deliberately like this. God, this book she gave me has two big words in it. I cannot read. <laughs> huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! Ah, good thinking. Nat Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. <laughs> Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That would work out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Tip cakes are my creative tummy. Uh, cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling creepily into the book as I read, as I'm looking, <laughs> as I'm eavesdropping on the other girls. In the end, Sarora is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her, unlike me, who has trouble finding any motive at all. Sora can put her mind to things to make them come to life. I suppose that's why she ended up... She ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh god, what in the world? I hope my eyes find Sora's face filling my vision. I nearly fell out of my chair. I nearly fell out of my chair. That's like the scary... Oh god, this is a horror game, guys. Remember? Did you remember that? That jump scare right now? Oh god, that was so terrifying. Why am I still playing this game? Uh, wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Not that you're in a club, you have, you have, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Hey, don't, don't say that out loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, sir. Hehe. <laughs> it's what I do best. That, that's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still, you're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week? Have, this past week, have you gotten up on time? That's a secret. Yes. Only the FBI knows. Because they have been shutting my alarm off with me unconscious. That's it. I knew it. Come on. <laughs> At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I can't even do that. <laughs> Look, Sora, it's written all over you. Eh? Sora glances around at herself. How's it written all over me? You're clearly in, in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all over here. Uh-huh. My fingertips on the side of Sora's hair trying to straighten it out. And we gotta brush this first. My hair is just... My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's no more than... There's more than just your hair. Look, your brow isn't straight either. There's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. Try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would... Would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you because they don't want to embarrass you. F fortunately, I don't really care about that. <laughs> hey, you meanie. Hey, you don't even keep your 
blazer buttoned up. What in the... What? Seriously? Thor? Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Uh... That's super mean. <laughs> Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer up. Once we see... Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Hehe. <laughs> God, this is super awkward. What the frick? This is so funny. <laughs> what is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh, don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're, we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. That button might come off. Why is this... Why is this one so hard to close? I'm sure I'm to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it, it did when I bought it. Ah, God. When was that? Like, middle school? If you ever button it up, you would have to notice sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. Anyway, why... What are you smiling about? God! <laughs> it means my boobs have gotten bigger again. Hey, don't say that out loud. You're not as big as the purple hair girl. And you're, you're barely big and are bigger than the pink hair girl. Yeah. Anyways. Look much better now, so... Uh... Why does it feel so strange to see Sora's blazer button up like that? Why is it so stuffy? Uh, it's not worth it at all. Or he hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. God dang it, I just buttoned it up! God. So much better. So I puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it buttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? If I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then you wouldn't let you do things like this and take care of me better than anyone would. So that's why I'm keeping it on button. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Gee whiz. Ah, oh, God. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Yee hee. I guess you really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking better care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I stay up to like 5 o'clock in the morning. But I have like work at until like 12. And I'm dying. You're doing it again, Sora. Ah, uh, but it was, but it was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share our poems we wrote now? Yay! Brendan, I can't wait. To, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I didn't really spend that much time into my poem, by the way, guys. I gotta tell you, I wrote my poem in literally seconds, and they got random words in it. By the way, did you remember we read a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ended. I can't believe I agreed to something so embarrassing. I really find so much inspiration since I... I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone is ready, why don't we find someone to share with? I can't wait. So, all right, Mar Monica truly pulls out their poems. So, I is on the wrinkled sheet of loose... Leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's precise handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri relax complete and comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem first? 
Who was the person that Sayori? Or not? I definitely would be most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. <laughs> okay. Dots. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Brendan. Uh, I love it. I had no idea you're such a good writer. Sorry. You must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why, because I have no idea what I like either. Ha ha ha. Jeez, I'm sure Yuri's option has to be a little bit more constructive than this. Maybe even Nazi keys. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know. That's when I... So, when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's a Brendan poem! God! And that makes it extra special. I am going to savor this to the ends of the earth. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. Sir so hugs the sheet against her chest. It's so weird, sir. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm really happy that... Just that you wrote one. It reminds me of how you you really that you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Well, of of course. Duh. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Brendan. Deep down, you're not as selfish as, at all. You know, trying to get new things for it for. This? For other people. Thanks, sir. Where? Like, why did we have to... Oh, God, what was the gra... I'm... Okay, um... I'm not sure Sarah sees the full picture of my motives here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this this means to her and all. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That way, that'll be the way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now, now you read my poem too, alright? Don't worry, I, I, I'm really bad at this. Ehe. Well, we'll see about that. <clears throat> okay. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away, wish away rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad, I want breakfast. Sorry. This is a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer just just a little bit to a yes or no question I forgot to do it last night well at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself don't be so mean I still tried my best ah uh, yeah not to mention that that it I didn't mention to say that it was a bad poem it came out nice or how I should put it 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 sounds like you really yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Get all cranky. Man, all I had for breakfast was like, um, uh, like an energy drink. Like, that is seriously it. I, uh, 
I wish I could make eggs and toast every day. Except I'm like, kind of like her. I just sleep in or whatever. Actually, I like to get to school early. I like to get to school early more. Like, um, well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hehe. <laughs> This was so much fun. Monica is the best. Oh uh, yeah. Next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Do I get to read everyone's Monica? Uh, who should I show my poem next? Natsuki Yuri Monica. Um, let's see what Monica did to her poem. <laughs> God dang it, this name. I, I don't remember the names of everyone, okay? Hi, Brendan. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like a new activity or anything, we can do better. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to just bring up new things, okay? Alright, I keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring up things. Much better of just going with the flow of... Until I'm more settled in. Anyway. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, Brendan. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? That's a sort of barrier that we learn to get past them. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something so... Sorry, would like. Is that so? Sorry, are, are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Uh, well, we might be good friends, but Sorry and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that might be the case, but maybe there's also some similarities you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you would care about each other as all others' well-being. Even if, even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think there's the kind of vibe uh, I get when reading your poem. Hmm. Can I read my own poem? I would love to read it. You sure you're not reading too much into it? Ah, uh, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sora has got has gotten a kind of gentle feeling to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions and happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, it's totally unexpected. Well, to each up, to well, to each their own. And you should be afraid to. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. Sure, I'll end up trying different things a lot. I could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. Best way to find the new, the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might get a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But, I, but I'll always end up finding what suits you the most. So don't force your way. Everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressions them, impressing them or anything. Ah ha ha. <laughs> anyway, you don't... Do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry about it. It's not very good. So I'm pretty confident if someone, someone claims to not be very good. Well, that's the case. I have to, well, that the case. I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, that... Let's read it then. Hole in a wall. Oh my goodness, this has a scroll bar. Okay, this is a long poem. Hole in the wall. I... It could have been me. It could have been me. I see the direction. The spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. A real blind, like a film left out 